Today we will know how to find the roots of a quadratic equation. Quickly, my name is Abhishek Lila Pandey and I teach VARC, LRDI, Quant at iQuanta. So let's try and understand this. First of all, we need to understand what is the general form of a quadratic equation, like how it is written. So, <clears throat> when we say quadratic equation, the degree is 2. That means the highest power of the independent variable, which will be x in this case, is 2. So, if the highest power is 2, lowest will be 0, obviously. And in between, we'll also have 1. So, these three terms must be there. At least this must be there. <coughs> and let the coefficient of x square be a and x be b and this be c. So, that is what we have if I equate it to 0. Right now, it's a quadratic expression. Moment I equate it to 0, it becomes a quadratic equation. All right. So, let us write it normally. I'll have a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0. No, 0. Now, when I said <coughs> that these three terms are there, it's not that all these three terms are mandatory. Even if I have something like 2 x square, it is a quadratic expression. Not a problem. If I write 3 x plus 4, this is not quadratic. So basically, we should have this term that is mandatory. Okay, so far, so good. <coughs> well, so we can form any kind of quadratic equation like this. Having said that, if I write fx is equal to ax square plus bx plus c, this will be known as a quadratic function. Okay. The moment I equate it to 0, that becomes a quadratic equation. The difference between quadratic function and quadratic equation. The values, the values at which this becomes 0, those values are known as zeros of a quadratic function or an equation. The moment we transform it to an equation, <clears throat> that means we need to have the values of x for, this, for which this entire expression becomes equal to 0. Those values are known as roots. Okay, two things that we have understood. Moreover, the number of roots, the number of roots would at max be equal to the degree of the equation. Here degree is 2, so at max we can have two roots. That means if we can have two roots, if we have two roots, at max two roots, what does that mean? That we can have two roots or we can have, have one root or we can have zero roots. What kind of roots? Real roots. So in a way, we can also interpret it to be when they have two roots, we can say those two roots are distinct. Alpha, beta, they are distinct. They are not equal. If it's one root, we can also interpret that both the roots are equal. Alpha is equal to beta. If zero roots, that means zero real roots are there. <clears throat> In this case also, we will be having two roots. But, but that two roots, those two roots will actually be imaginary. By the way, imaginary roots, imaginary numbers are not in the syllabus of CAT, so we will not learn about this. In the real algebra class, we will discuss more about this, but right now, you understand, this is the <coughs> quadratic equation, these are the roots. And now, the agenda of this video is to understand how to find the roots quickly. Let's see. So first method is factorization, which we have done in, back in standard 8. So what we do here, we try to make things common. All right. So this equation is made, there must be two roots, what those two roots are, how to do that. So I'll break this, the middle term in two parts, two parts, and the product of those two parts must be equal to product of this constant term and the coefficient of x square. Here, the coefficient of x square is 1. It's nothing that means 1. So 5 must be broken in two parts whose product is 6. It can be 1 plus 4, 2 plus 3. 1 plus 4, the product is 4. Here it is 6. So this is our choice, not this one. Great. What do we do now? I'll just break 5x as 2x plus 3x. This is chosen. And then we have plus 6 here. So I have rewritten the equation in this form. Now I can take x common in these two. Let's take x common. Here the left is x. Here it will be 2. <coughs> Let's take 3 common. So here, here we have x. Here we have 3, 2, are 6. Plus 2. Great. And that is the reason. When we break it like this, automatically we get one common factor. Okay. Now let's take this common factor as common. That means I can take x plus 2 common. 
and remaining from this whole will be x only here will be 3 only so x plus 2 into x plus 3 is equal to 0 well now our life becomes simple life becomes easy <coughs> this means product of x plus 2 and x plus 3 is equal to 0 that means either this is 0 or this is 0 or both are zeros so when x plus 2 is 0 this means x is equal to minus 2 and when x plus 3 is equal to 0 that means x is equal to minus 3 so basically minus 2 and minus 3 are the are the roots and the factors are x plus 2 and x plus 3 of this equation easy there are more ways to do, do it for example Sridharacharya formula now this says like in a quadratic equation which goes like this in the general form the value of x will be equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac whole upon 2a this thing is known as discriminant but in this video we won't be discussing that our main aim main agenda is to learn these techniques <clears throat> okay we'll use this where b is uh, obviously the coefficient of x a is the coefficient of x square and c is the constant term let's try to solve a few sets few questions here we have one so here we can see that a is equal to 2 coefficient of x square b is equal to 11 coefficient of uh, x and c that is constant term is 14 so let's put in a formula plug in the values and get the answer let's see what happens and we are using plus and minus both because we have two roots all right we have two roots so we'll be once we take a root with plus other will be with minus let's do that <coughs> I'm sorry x is now minus b we'll have minus 11 here then plus minus square of minus 11 is 121 minus 4 times ac so 4 2s are 8 8 14s are 112 minus 112 is what we have whole upon 2 times a that is 2 2s are 4 let's try to solve it minus 11 plus minus this is 121 minus 112 that is 9 root 9 upon 4 <coughs> let's solve further minus 11 root 9 is 3 so minus 11 plus 3 or minus 3 whole upon 4 so minus 11 plus 3 <coughs> is minus 8 and minus 8 upon 4 is minus 2 that is if I took plus if I take minus minus 11 minus 3 is minus 14 minus 14 upon 4 is what we need to calculate that will be minus 3.5 so we have two roots here one is minus 2 other is minus 3.5 let's check it again minus 11 plus 3 is minus 8 upon 4 is minus 2 minus 11 minus 3 is minus 14 upon 4 is minus 3.5 cool both the roots are negative in this case okay we got that now <laughs> let's solve like a do it how many dudes are watching this tell me in the comments also tell me this way how how does it sound this way uh, how does it look the method that is independent of the factorization and the Sridharacharya formula this is new and magical okay <coughs> we need to break 11 in such a way that in two parts that the product is product of a and c the same way as we did in the factor factorization so 11 2 parts 2 14 is 28 how can you break that 11 2 parts of the then the product should be four, uh, 28 of those two parts 14 2 is 28 7 and 4 7 plus 4 is 11 and 7 into 4 is 28 okay broken once you have done that you need to do two things first change the sign if it is positive make it negative if it's negative make it positive what is it it's positive okay let's change the sign and then divide this by the coefficient of x squared is a so minus 1 by 2 minus 4 by 2 we got minus 3.5 and minus 2 as the answers wow this is magical the same thing we got over here also nice and dudes for you this is the question so breaking 5 into two parts that is 2 and 3 as we did earlier also signs are positive let's change the signs and then divide by coefficient of x squared is 1 in this case minus 2 by 1 minus 3 by 1 is nothing it's minus 2 and minus 3 only we got the answer so be the dudes uh, do this and solve 
and try to find the roots of quadratic equation in this magical way. This is going to blow your mind and obviously Cat won't be asking question on to finding the roots of the quadratic equation but of a huge question this can be a small minor part and they'll end up you'll end up saving at least uh, five seconds <laughs>